and I and I agree with him, man. See, Charlo was talking facts, and I never agree with that cocksucker, man, because you know I don't like him, man. But at the end of the day, he's talking facts, man. Listen, your boy Charlo warned or, or is warning your boy Denny Garcia that coming up to 154 is gonna be a challenge, man. We got Lubin up there, we got Tony Harrison up there, we got a host of great fighters. If you really want to talk about a division that's stacked with athletic bastards, it's 154. You see what I'm saying? And I understand why I respect the audacity or the, you know, the fact that Danny wants to move up there because he knows there's nothing left for him at 147. And he didn't do anything at 147 to, for us to expect anything great for him at 154. Look, Charlo said, man, and he was talking facts. You did your thing at 140. You did nothing at 147. What do you think you're going to be able to do at 154 with heavy hitters? <laughs> Nothing but get knocked out. But he calls Keith Thurman and say, "Listen, I would like my debut fight to be with Keith Thurman." Like, God, you already fought already. Nothing changes but the weight class. Are you kidding me, bro? Go up there and get busy. And and and, and look, do what you do. We're gonna respect you for taking the challenge, but we're not expecting you to do anything great. So your failures would be like, okay, to the people, the fans that know boxing. Well, he tried. That's what it be. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, let them go up there. Because I'm tired of these guys sitting at 147. Your boy Sean Porter should have been moved. The way Billy Smith should have been at 168. <laughs> 168, 175. You see me? Crawford just moved up from 130, 135, 135, 140, 147. So we, I respect that he's still there. And he's challenging all comers. And he won all the belts. So... And, and, and leave the way Bully Smith's there, too, because he still got two belts and we want to see the super fight, right? But Danny Garcia, get up out of here, man. I would love to see Charlo versus Danny Garcia, just so I can see Danny get knocked out. Now, I know people are going to say, yo, CBT, you know you don't like Charlo. But Jamel can bang. He got power. He aggressive. I like his style of fighting, but I think he needs to put it together. I liked him more when he was a boxer. But then when he found that power, he got some of that early way Bully Smith's PEDs up in him. Then he started hitting dudes and he started saying, oh, good guard. And he left his boxing skills alone. And that's why I can't respect it because I know that like a guy like Tony Harrison that was winning the fight, but, well, he won the first fight, and, and I predict, predicted that. Your boy CBT won big, and I predicted that he was going to win his second fight, but he got a little sloppy at the end. But at the end of the day, he was winning that fight. Our point is, anybody that got slick athleticism that can move and got some power, you don't have to, you don't have, to have big, big power, but you got to be able to move and slip and dip and be able to take chances and fight with Jamel. You win. You see me? Because Jam Jamel wants to load up. Right? He wants to get close and he throws crazy wow. That's why Tony Harrison was able to hit him in the middle. Bang! And move and shake. Easy. As Jamel's trying to load up on those power shots. But when he lands, it's good night. It's good night or he putting you on wobble legs. Period. So I give him that. I believe he can knock out Jamel. I mean, he can knock out. Jamel can knock out your boy Danny Garcia. But the mega fights. The big fights. For even, even the weight bully. But the big fights are for... Your boy Charlo versus your boy Crawford. Big fight, man. We got a slick guy like Crawford, like a Tony Harrison. That's loose up in the ring. Great jab, good power. You see what I'm saying? You got some good trickery, elite, good ring IQ. Love to see that fight. But I, I, I just tell people and I, and I hold caution because we look at the surface, but we don't look at the complete picture. Crawford is one of those guys that can box on the back foot, be slick, athletic, and be dominant at the same time. And he can also be front foot dominant like he did with the mean machine and say, you know what? I'm going to knock out. I'm coming straight forward. We're shaking with you and make mistakes. So it's like, what fighter are we going to get with Crawford fighting a Jamel Charlo? We're going to get the dominant. We're going to get the guys on the back foot fighting smart. So we don't know how that fight will play out. Just like with the way Bully Spence. In Crawford, we don't know what type of Crawford is going to come to fight. You see me? The Crawford that fought Kell Brook? I don't want to see that Crawford. I want to see the Crawford that can be slick and athletic on the back foot. An inch away on the front foot as the fight go on. I want you to be smart from beginning to finish. Don't just go in there with your fury and your rage. But see, Crawford is so smart that I don't think he's going to do that. He's going to play it smart. But I know he's like, if I don't stop, you know, the weight bully, then, and I move around... 
You dig? People want to say, well, he ran and he pot shot his way to a 12 round decision. We knew he could do that because the way Bully Spence got flat foot and he don't move his head. He's an easy target. But why he didn't stand toe to toe with the way Bully Spence? And I'm like, I hear you, B, but this is the fight game. You got to win, right? You know, you win because you're not in the in, in you're not there. You're not in the fight. You don't know what he see and what he can't, what he what he don't see. We're looking from a, a different angle. You see what I'm saying? So we don't know what type of crop we're going to get because he switches his style so much. But to go get back to the, the point of the video, man, you know, this is how scared these guys are at 147 to fight your boy Crawford. They would rather move up <laughs> to 154. The way Bully Spence would rather fight Canelo. He would rather fight somebody out of the weight class than fight somebody in the weight class. He would rather fight you because a guy that won 50-50, that don't deserve a 50-50, and got a belt because your boy Manny Pacquiao said I'm being easy, I'm falling back, I'm holding the belt too long. Like, this guy's a complete clown. Then he says, well, uh, when I beat Yugis, let's see who's ducking. That means when he fight Yugis, he knows his options are slim to nobody but Crawford. But what he's going to do is once he beat your boy Yugis, he's going to have three belts, and then he's going to say 2080. Then you can't sit back and say 2080 with three belts and say, uh, well, he, I guess he really don't want to fight. You're not a mega star. You're not Floyd Mayweather. You, you know, you, when Canelo did that with Floyd, Canelo was an up-and-comer. Canelo wasn't the Canelo we know now. And Floyd was... Not you wasn't even the equi equivalent to what Floyd was when he tested himself against Oscar De, De La Hoya and took over the game. They're not that guy, right? You can't tout off the wins you had and say they was elite fighters. I always point to how Jeremy and Leonard Bundle because he did. The Mott Peterson because he did. Who are these guys? Mikey Garcia. Who is he? You understand what I'm saying? So his record is trash. So you know, demanding 80 20 is disrespectful and it's just a way of. Pricing yourself out of a fight. Because you really don't want that work, man. Point blank, period. So at the end of the day, I always said, and I'm never going to, I'm not going to go back on what I said. I think Yugis can give your boy the weight bully smash that work. Point blank, period. I think it's a good fight. I think because he a body puncher just like your boy the weight bully spins, I think the weight bully is going to have to change up some things mid-fight to his liking to be successful. Because Game plan A is not going to be enough to beat a Dennis Yugis, period. Can he win the fight? Am I going to bet against the weight bully? No. I stay on the sidelines and fall back and be easy, give my prediction. You dig? Because there's some things that Yugis can do to win. Don't get it twisted. But at the end of the day, I hold y'all dudes too long, man. You rocking with your boy CBT. Mr. Strive to the channel, man. Leave something in the cash app for your boy CBT. Thanks for all the love and all the cash apps dudes hit me with last week. Man, it was a beautiful thing you heard. But you're rocking with the best CBT casual boxing talk. Peace. <laughs> yeah. New media. New perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. It's all about casual boxing talk. Just when you thought you had to figure it out. New media. New perspective. Casual boxing talk.